The state over SB 1070 is now over, but the settlement is not good news for everybody involved. ABC 15's John Erickson is at the Capitol right now. John, who's upset about this? Well, one of the men who sued says this isn't good enough. This is not a victory. Our community, the ones that I represent, I warn them, don't let your guard down. Don't let your guard down. Know your rights. Don't talk to a police officer unless you have an attorney present whenever they're asking your status. What he says he'd like to see instead of today's settlement is a time when police don't look into a suspect's immigration status. But what the settlement today does do is end questions about the so-called papers please part of the law. If police pull someone over for speeding or arrest them on suspicion of some other crime and if the suspect can't show an ID, police can start investigating their immigration status. The federal government has a 24-7 hotline set up for just that purpose. But what today's settlement makes clear is that if someone's ticket is already written or they're bonded out of jail, police cannot continue to hold them for the sole purpose of determining their immigration status. What does the attorney general have to say about it? We'll hear from him coming up at 6. Back to you. An update on the breaking news I first brought you from the live desk.